this guy, he, what is it, 71% win rate, I think? Yeah, all time, 38 matches, 71% win rate. That's just gross. 71%? Yeah, yeah. That it's one of his, his second most played hero after that Beastmaster. And he's over 70% win rate. That's pretty good. Insane. Well, we'll see if they can make it happen yet again here in this one as Bryle doing a little bit of a dance there in the mid lane. They already got down their ward. Does look like Crit is heading over in that direction and they're going to immediately take it away. So, nice okay, ward there. Okay, Shopify okay, off to a little bit of a better start. Okay, Hoping that things go better than last game, because, I mean, that was a that was a demoralizing loss. You just got to say it how it is. That was yeah. a rough one to watch. Yeah, they look like they got kind of squeezed out of the map there for a while. I definitely had my concerns, not going to lie, about TSM in terms of, like, the pacing they were taking, but they, they didn't take any, like, super risky maneuvers, and they never got punished. Uh, Shopify never hit that humongous combo that they were threatening, and they just, like, kind of, like, Slow rolled it to a nice finish there from TSM. Well, Ari steps up, take a couple hits, was threatening to steal away one of those runes as ooh, maybe in some more trouble there. Saberlight still trying to chase back Whitemon. And there's still a bounty rune that's over in the river. That one, I don't know if it's going to be claimed quickly or not. Um, but we'll have it in the river for a bit. Just a little forbidden fruit there. Just gonna hang out. That never happens. Let the sky uh, tear that, down that, the there's just a bounty there. Okay. So that's cool. Yeah. I mean, somebody gets a, uh, a bottle early. You get a free extra charge. Why not? Um, as we get to hear from Slacks and his Marine Hall at the end. Abed steps on up. Takes it away. Bryle need to be careful about the uh, pullbacks with the skewer there. It's the big thing to watch. And yeah, kind of interesting, too, because you're, like, trying to trample eventually in the lane as well. Yeah. It's going to be interesting to see this one, though, because a hero that we have not seen almost at all throughout the entire course of this road to TI uh, has been the Snapfire. Not a lot of yeah. games, but uh, as the panel was talking about, an answer to the Phoenix. Yeah, it's just such a good counter. I mean, all it takes is that single point there into a little shredder, and you can handle that egg at its earlier levels. As down bottom, Crit takes a lot of damage, but does manage to get the TP out. Ends up going away from that one, uh, not wanting to run into too much more issues. Already back to the tower as Arteezy very low on HP, switching over and getting the Tango regen back his direction. Yeah, more playing, um, at, least having, at least having some pretty high armor as well, so not the most intimidated by the constant wolf pressure, plus, uh, you know, attacks being relied upon here versus the Phoenix with the Fire Spirits. Has some defensive measures up here, and uh, well, a defensive support as you can see down bottom here. White Mon on the Shadow Demon. Oh, just stepped a little bit too close. The concussive shot, the Lucent Beam tries to get him away, but no. Saber Light and a draw first blood taking down White Mon. Nice maneuver forward there from them, and that's gonna hit level two there onto Crit as well. So. More aggressive options open up, but uh, despite dying here, I do think the Shadow Demon's a super solid pick. Uh, we saw banned a lot in the first phases throughout this group stage, because he, he's one of these heroes that just denies the opportunity later to pick certain heroes, right? You think about, like, anyone who really struggles versus, like, these dispels uh, and the constant purging as our TZ being bullied back a little bit here. Uh, but the main thing in this game is versus that Primal Beast. Not only okay, because you have this, like, low cooldown okay, save versus his low cooldown okay, ultimate, the, uh, the other thing is that if you use the ultimate on top of him, he can't actually onslaught out. It is a dispellable buff. So you, you get ulti, you're just stuck. So for those of you that are going to watch for that later, you'll see Primal Beast just try and run away, and then he's going to be doing the running man, going absolutely nowhere. As Ori oh. goes for the double kill. Uh, he may take first blood, but both couriers gone. And that's a lot of regen, too. Um, how are they going to deal with that? They have no tangos, no anything up in this top lane. Jeez, I mean, Morflake's pretty broken in the lane, but he has his limits, you know? Right. Oh, man, that could be a tough one. It's, gets the Lotus. That's fair. That's some region. They, they need that one desperately. Ryle's just going to step up there, get a couple more hits onto Abed as he tramples through. Arteezy getting way down there. Got to get down to... Oh, he's, he's chilling at three strength. There we go. Oh, that is just so ridiculous, actually, that a Lotus can save you. How much value you get out of it, absolutely. Yeah, they still have a little bit of time before those couriers start making their way back out. We'll see if uh, Ari is able to time it. Maybe he could even go for another pick if they wanted to. I mean, if he gets a cookie play too onto Arteezy, right? You know? Oh, yeah. It's pretty low. Uh, it will, uh, it'll be a blow up. Absolutely. You, you just cookie one little creep, test the reactions there, perhaps. Well, regardless, we'll watch for it. 
no early kills. The big hero that's definitely struggling so far is going to be the Luna, 12 and 1. And though Kasane has obviously gotten a, a pretty good start himself with the, the nine denies, I think at least one or two of those were wolves. Why also uh, starting with no bonus armor versus a, a Lycan and a Snapfire is kind of scary too. Yeah, that could be a tough one. But yeah, so far so good. Despite losing their couriers, it is kind of crazy that they're still looking this okay, to be honest. Yeah. I will say, at various points when this team, Shopify, have looked their best, I, I want to harken back to the days of, of Fly on a Phoenix, you know? Yeah. This is his bread and butter as well. We'll see if that can make the difference for him. But already, side to go. Kasane will get cookied to a little bit of safety. And the Wolves get sent out. Fly keeps the distance. The regen is now on its way as couriers, I believe, are respawning and heading on out. Oh. Abed's heading on out to that bottom lane there. Spot on a ward as he's just going to steal a bounty room. But this is a bit of a classic thing that the Primal Beast players will do. They'll, they'll often just rotate into the lane. Like, they come to this bounty room, but if they see the opportunity, they'll utilize that early movement that you have of the onslaught to just charge forward. But I think he noticed that uh, they were probably aware of it. Plus, he's this way pushing in. So way too risky, unless you have, like, a guaranteed kill to go for that. Tough one to make happen, but level six <laughs> can make the difference. Bryle comes on in and steals away that creep uh, from the primal. Okay, man. And still Trendy just sitting show. steady, <laughs> trying to out farm when they can here. Um, the deny is definitely racking up though. As Jeezy hoping to get off to a better start and maybe be more active in this game than we saw in the last one. Obviously, you have to wait for a long time. Azari will back out. Um, but maybe can play at a little bit faster tempo with the rest of his team. This yeah, season. we uh, had a fantastic Morphling game yesterday versus that Magnus. I mean, you could really see the ability to, uh, to take advantage of copying that hero as well, so not too shocked to see it here once again. Right. Taking the, uh, the skewers, of course, using that shockwave, getting yourself empowered, probably being the most important factor there. Looks for a stomp. Saber Light not quite going to connect onto it. Gives him the bing bong and heads off. As the seven minute mark's coming around, Fly stacking up where he can, and likely gonna see some movement around for the uh, down or the wisdom runes rather. Another stomp connects, but again, Saberlight can't do anything really there to wipe off. Yeah, very static side lanes right now. No twin gate maneuvers quite yet. Just hanging out on your own sides, and we'll see if that uh, stays the same for the wisdom runes, like you were saying. Right. Uh, I do see a line drawn there. Maybe uh, Fly saying, hey, what, what do you think, Abed? Want to go to the Wisdom Rune? Let's see. That's, that's what he's saying. He wants to smoke with ulti and go Wisdom Rune. Oh! Whoa! Ari there, playing it close. That was very close to death. Or it's easy. Right. But no, they're just going to trade him off one apiece. Radiance Although, maybe if that rotation, attack. they know that they're heading for the Wisdom Runes. Yeah, I mean, they scan, right? So now they say, OK, support's definitely there. Do we catch him on the way back, or do we go for Kasane? Who is oh, and Ari TP's mid. He's going to catch the wave, so this okay. might punish Kasane. Yeah, it doesn't have anywhere to go. This should be an easy one. They run in, tries to go for the sidestep. Control is there. A couple oh, more wait. hits. Ryo RP connects, pushes him away. Never mind, Kasane waveform through. They managed to finally get that kill. Ryo can't quite get in range to punish this one, though, it looks like. We'll have another shockwave. Thinks about throwing it out, but no. Won't go for it. Nice play. Okay, not quite easy, but a kill nonetheless. As that's two to zero now in favor of Shopify. So solid rotation, good punish on the support, heading over to that Wisdom Rune. As Abed farms his way back home. Uh, not a whole lot separating all of the cores in this one. Centaur is top of the mark, but it's pretty even across the board. Waiting instead more likely for uh, a couple of the, the big level sixes to come out. Obviously, Crit's going to be able to play pretty aggressively around the map with Abed if he wants to, comboing the Mystic Flare and the Pulverize. So, Tomato will have to be careful with his positioning in this game. Make sure he doesn't run into too much trouble. As we take a look, and Saber Light, full Vanguard completed, trying to finish off those phase boots next. There was a movement over where, again, they're trying to catch and kill, but immediately banished. And that is the defensive play they needed. Also going to make it back in time to stack the Ancients. Why not? Yeah, perfect. I mean, that's uh, definitely the best thing about Shadow Demon, right? 
infinite stacking. It's certainly why I like the position four when you can do it, because it's really easy to stack from the side lane, but well, it wasn't really possible with the current setup in this one. Right, and I mean, again, Bryle's out in the jungle. He's going to make this move now to connect onto Saberlight, who well, is managing to stun Bryle away, but this is so much space mid for Ari and Fly to soak up some experience for themselves, trying to get those level sixes on Light. He's about to have it. This can definitely be a quick kill if they find an opening. I mean, they certainly have the more aggressive mid on Shopify you would expect too, right? Like, did oh, see yeah. it being Bryle, the one who's moving around, you kind of expect this Primal Beast to be the one who's hunting for these kills, this low cooldown ultimate, but Abed, he's a little bit busy. You know, like you mentioned previously, there were some stacks set up here in the jungle, so taking advantage of that, he wants to try and be the one to snowball, because you think about who's going to take stacks, like, you know, sure, all three of their cores can kind of farm them up, but Primal Beast can be the fastest one at it, and also the one who's going to get the most value out of it at this point in the game. So where can he actually take that net worth and apply some pressure? Uh, speaking of which, uh, also, like, Ari, level 6 right now on yeah. the Snapfire. Um, one of the absolute best do-something supports, and, well, they're going to get a kill down bottom here with his ulti. Moves in, finds him, immediately there with the RP. Wait, the kiss hold, is hold. not quite going to connect. The saber like oh, pops a drive-by. All right, I'll do it myself. Gets out of trouble, manages to break the ulti, and, well, that is a nice dodge. Okay, so not the synergy People, they were looking for there. Not quite. Yeah, definitely a bing-bong moment themselves alive. But yeah, big ult he's used is more time for Shopify to start to come online. That is a tough hero, though, to kill with the, uh, the ulti, right? It's definitely not guaranteed uh, when you have that stampede versus the uh, the kisses coming out there, so. Certainly a disappointment, though, because it is supposed to be kind of free when you get six on snap. Well, this is a bit of a scary moment. Ari does not actually have any points in the little shredder yet, so will not be able to stop any supernova plays that are coming out. Abed still thinking about a play here. Does he want to go for an onslaught? Not going to do it. Did not want to try and catch him. This is a great voice line. I, mean, I get why they're spamming it. <laughs> uh, pressure on the bottom. They're going to claim this tower instead. Yeah, they've been working on this one for a while. Last time, Bryle was able to drive them back, but knowing that there's no kisses, knowing that the RP was used and no kill, even without a stampede, they're very comfortable just standing here and going for it. Kasane trying to apply pressure as well with Catabolt up top, but Artis is just waving at him. They're going to high-five a little bit. Making a move. Ari looking, hunting. He's going to go for it here. Maybe no. With Abed showing up, still very, very low. The cookie forward tries to bring down for the kill, but Kasane is gone. Oh, Shopify, they brought in numbers and take the finish. Great defensive egg there, too, from Fly. Just a really secure thing. It gives you the hesitation of, like, I can't commit. Like, there's yeah. no way I can fully go for this kill right now. But then Artiz able to just morph on down and go right back to farming like he was. And that's going to miss out on this pressure in that top tower. So big win for Shopify. Full pressure down bottom. They take the tower. They defend their top tower right now. It's just going to keep this pressure moving up top where, of course, they're trying to extract a ton of net worth from this top part of the map. They can't lose control. Like, you think about how Game and Gladiators often play when they're on dire sides. They love getting wards up inside this Ancients right here. And now they're even pressuring. Like, he's not far from there right now. Have to defend with the Kisses. Yeah, just Kisses there. Disruption already used. Abed, now he's out far, but they will turn it. Saberlight stunned with two. Sunray out. Starting to bring White Mon down. He's going to be the one left behind. So Shopify starting to get a little bit more aggressive after their defensive postures. It's funny because, I mean, this Lycan last pick, I look at it and I'm just thinking like, oh, this is great because a lot of these counters that you see, like you can't get the Lycan early because there's some pretty significant counters for the way you want to escape from fights with your ulti. You think about like Dream Coil, think about Myers Arena and stuff, but kind of the same thing's happening now with the Stampede, right? right. They're both countered by similar ideas here. And this Stampede is a big save on this one. As long as you don't get RP'd, you're kind of just out of there. Exactly. I mean, maybe a disruption, but, you know, disruption has some elements to it which are saving you anyways, so it's a it's a weird position to be in. And they don't really have that answer at all for the Morphling as it gets later and later. Need to buy an answer, I guess. And now with the Blink Dagger coming down towards Saber Lake, like, I would love to see Vision up in that top Ancients camp. Like, if they could spot when TSM are trying to get in there, trying to stack with their supports, having this, like, over-the-train movement of both the Phoenix and the Primal Beast, I feel like they can just, like, run all over this part of the map. And, and, and they just want all of this gold in here for their Magnus, for their Luna, right? Like, this is where they want to live. Well, there is not going to be a Magnus at this fight easily. But they are setting up for this. What can they do? 
on the side of Shopify. Now they're smoking with Mag behind. They're, they're reading this move. Yeah, they're ready for this. Ari jumped forward, wants to do what he can. Pulverize is going to be there, already caught. Don't quite have any items yet for the Mag. He's getting them delivered on the Courier. As the rest of Shopify back out, Kasane popped the ulti, the run forward, now the Stampede trying to hunt this Lycan and see if they can go We're all the running. They just got the Blink Dagger delivered for the mag. If they're stuck together, Shopify, they have to be careful. Kasane, run forward, the jump is there, and they caught one. Pulls him back in for the finish. So they decide to give up on Kasane, get that kill on Shopify, but they lose the morph. And it kind of drags them all back. So at least getting the punish on Arteezy is huge there. It still saves their space that they need for their heroes to farm up and become these giant cores that they're hoping for. But Shopify are making it no secret. They want to pressure this mid tower. They want to take over these Ancients. If they lose this part of the map, the game gets way harder for TSF. There's no doubt. Pull one back. See if they can get him. Ulti out from SD. Looking for a stomp. Waits for it. Hits onto immediately. Tomorrow, oh. look at the turn. The Supernova, it's already down, starting to do a good chunk of damage. Disruption and too much on the Tomato. He is going to fall. Can they get out with the rest of them, though? Fly trying to escape. Wolves after him. Abed starting to fall lower and lower. TSM chasing almost enough for the kill, and they just can't get anything else out of him. Arteezy comes to join in the fight. Has no morph yet, though. So not able to contribute a whole lot, but hey, at least he's there. They do manage to get that kill on Tomato. There wasn't anything after the egg. They never got the tower. Yeah. Drew him right off, kind of forced the fight in behind. And that's going to force the glyph out here from Shopify Rebellion. Very back and forth type of game already. And you can see that fight handily won by TSM. Even though you lose Tomato, the rest of the squad is starting to stack up that net worth. And Abed, I mean, you look at his farm, he just has not been able to get the type of kills that you would expect out of a primal. It's very frustrating for sure. Like, there's just these little tiny stuns that come out there. Like, obviously the big save from the disruption, but even just having a kiss fly through, a skewer that comes by. He had to wait so long for actually using the pulverize. He grabbed <laughs> uh, Tomato when he was at like 100 HP. He just like lived him for half a second and then Tomato dies. Like, okay, well, you know, I secured the kill, but it's not that impact that you're hoping for. So clearly he's kind of just hoping for the BKB, right? Exactly. Still a very BKB dependent hero on the Primal Beast, despite some of the nerfs to the item. Kind of has no other recourse. And it's really the pain of, of, you know, the first pick overall Primal Beast. You, you stop all of his movement with Shadow Demon. You cause so many issues. Um, and even with RP eventually coming out. I mean, that was a whole fight taken without RP that TSM were able to win. It has an Arcane rune too here, so definitely just begging for a smoke right now. Smoke, Arcane, go for RP play. Kasane also has the ultimate plus his summon here. He's got a Warp Hind Raider. Terrifying creature. With a seed shot, you love to see it. I called the uh, Willow, or not Willow, the Hoodwink ulti, the Acorn shot seed Radiant shot yesterday. <laughs> just attack. thinking of the Warp Hind Raider. Okay, that's, that's fair, yeah. They're equally as powerful currently exactly. in the patch, I'd say. They're so scary, the big pine cones. TSM hunting mid, waiting for anybody to show up. Nobody is there. Tomato starts to hit the buildings. And a similar sight to what we saw in last game for TSM. Tomato off to a hot start and on a hero that can snowball. Yeah, just the one death has some more stacks to go back to. Already up to three points in Lucent Beam and then one point in the Eclipse. So it's, it's not this Luna who just feels horrendous when a fight actually breaks out, right? Right. But that said, you do have the answer already done with the Centaur with a full Crimson Guard completed. That is such a good item against this sort of middling damage that's coming through. Bryle hunting, finds crit, misses on one. Shockwave is there, slowed. Stampede tries to get away. Cookie oh. connects! Everything in perfect concert from TSM. He's just silenced me, but I just get Cookie for the stun. That hurts. Thought you had a play there, but not quite. Still, a lot used for just the Skyrath Mage. As Abed heads on over, picks up the Wisdom Rune, trying to re-salvage his game. BKB, I believe, is Radiant's coming out, along with hitting level attack. 12. This could be a decent window for them to fight. Looks like it here. I mean, no Stampede for 50, though. They might want to hang onto that a little bit. Also, still no Morph in Arteezy, but he is holding the point. So, yeah, if they want to go for a it's, fight, they're going. Anyways. Blessing. Looking. Saberlight wanting it, not finding it. They couldn't quite get him. I, I think you approach the tower with no stampede. Since you, like, you're not going to have it for the full chase down. Maybe just play this a little bit casual. Oh, God. If they all come, though, this could be bad for Shopify, honestly. 
Ari gets hit. RP already onto a bunch. Fly trying to save it. Can he dive in this? Crit is already gone, but they have the supernova down. Already used a little shredder trying to kill it off. The egg, is it going to pop? They managed to kill it in time. TSM hit on two. All right, they only lose the supports, I guess, but that definitely hurts. They weren't expecting, I think, the fact that TSM were still so grouped up just north of that, uh, that part of the tower. Oh, yeah. Caught out there. Great skewer back there as well. Brawl having a fantastic series so far. Yeah, the BKB having to use there from Abed means like he probably does not want to come fight at this top tower. Saberlight caught here, skewered back. Oh, that is not what they want to see. Saberlight pops the stampede, but there oh. it is, the disruption. Can they do anything? Gets nice. the blink away. That was super necessary, but that also opens up Rosh now for TSM. Yeah, they're going to back right up towards it. Kasane already getting started here with the Orb of Destruction. He's huge. <laughs> yeah, he is the Helm of the Overlord. Uh, again, that uh, another reason why like it just we don't see it too often. There's just there's some heroes that counter Helm of the Overlord. There's some heroes that specifically counter your ultimate. You feel very, like, counter-pickable. So this is why even if the hero's not that, that popular right now, it's still so important to ban them against TSM in these situations where they could just get it last, and it gotcha. Right. No, this, I mean, this aura, this group together, I'm, I'm seeing the writing on the wall. Is Shopify are going to need to make some big plays here. Oh, Brile. And this could be it. Brile, a bit too far forward. Will get disrupted, but they have enough to keep him Dude, alive. He saves. It's so good, but Miles still dropping down the bolt. It's not quite enough damage to kill him off. And now Saberlight, he's in too far. Will manage to get away. Now the disruption, switching into it. Artesia's in Shadow Demon form, trying to get the Luna connection. The stun is there, but Saberlight starting to drop lower and lower. Manta back away, gets the kill. Abed in, Cookie away. Now the disruption. Again, White Mon doing so much on this Shadow Demon. They've already killed the centaur. Can they find even more? Yo, they force out the BKB on Ovet with the blink forward there. Man, these plays from Ari and Whitemon have been so good. Huge saves there. Just constantly enabling their cores to play a little bit more aggressive than you're probably expecting on Shopify. Absolutely. That's what you need out of them. And a perfect lineup to do it because there's so much of this like single target going in there trying to blow up one hero. You know, you've got you got Primal and, and Skyrack. And even in that instance where they caught somebody so out of position on Bryle, they weren't able to play cleanup. And Kasane now just taking away a double stack of ancients. The piggy bank being raided here. It's starting to get towards desperate territory. I mean, still only a thousand and gold lead, but I mean, look at this group up potential from TSM. It's going to shred through buildings. Yeah, I'm just being led by this ancient black dragon. Moving their way through here very confidently towards the Tormentor. Oh no, we've seen what happens here. Now, surely no one dies on this one. Be carry on. Be careful, Ari. Run, get out of there. Oh man, White Wand's gonna get it. So now, Demonic Cleanse available okay. for the Shadow Demon. All right, and what are they getting on the map right now for Shopify? They're taking some farm near the Ancients. They are, ooh, they might steal their Wisdom Rune. Arteezy, though, of course, very unlikely they would still be there, so kind of risky to go for. He will get the Tier 1 tower top. Yeah, the building's falling down bottom. This Tier 2, they got to know what's coming. It's the first Tier 2 of the game. A four staff done for the Shadow Demon is Bryl. Does see Saber Light in the mid, but won't go for anything there. Fly even catching a wave down bottom here and getting some farm. They've really spread it across this map. It's gonna put Fly almost into the Yule Scepter right now. Okay. Whatever they can do to get more control. I mean, you compare the saves that we're seeing from Ari and Whitemon, and you think about how they play these fights here from Fly and Crit, it just feels so much more difficult. Like, with his Blink Dagger on Crit, who does he actually target with an Ancient Seal and with his ultimate? Because he's constantly have to worry about some sort of mo movement from a cookie, which could just, like, break someone out of his little combo, or a disruption save. No, I mean, yeah, you're going to need to find the Shadow Demon, I think. Like, they, they yeah. have to get him. Whitemon's free to do too much. Tomato takes another tower. Heard him in that little interview talking about how he sees the future playing out. A very lovely voice. <laughs> this is old man impersonation. 
I played in three TIs. <laughs> oh, it was good. He, he did nice. He yeah, definitely did. We'll see if they can continue moving on here to the uh, third one. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. He's really trying to force them back right now. Ari staying so far back as well. Shadow Demon Lunaing even here. A little bit of vintage gameplay right now. I mean, nobody's showing up. No, nobody's here. You're just going to mix them up so you don't even know who the real one is. The building is just going to fall. You leave Luna alone to hit oh, the for a bottom. second. Down bottom. Connection. Nice. He got the strength form off. Can Arteezy get out of trouble? Are they going to be able to get anybody to help him? Tries to TP out, but no, the skewer was there. Stampede now trying to escape. But Arteezy, he's in no man's land. The hunt, the kisses, everything drops onto his head. Saving the buildings with his body, but giving up another death, it hurts. TSM everywhere. And I love what Ari's done here. He's just picked up a pipe. Yeah. They are going for it. They're saying that we have grouped up, we are stronger than you right now. Sure, maybe the net worth isn't the highest. You guys have been farming. Yeah, we've seen you all over the map. But our strength right now as a unit, you just can't match it right now. And if we keep bolstering that with a couple auras, like with a slightly, you know, unused hero here in the Snapfire. Like one of the benefits of this hero is that she can pick up these greaves and these pipes and feel good about. As they catch another. And you talk about auras, there's only one aura right now on the Shopfire Rebellion team, and it's on Saberlight with the Crimson Guard. He's getting chased down. Does not have that many places to go. Was hoping for a blink away, but the chase is there. Bryle has him. Controlled and the slow, steady death. A lot of HP on the Centaur, but eventually he too will die. And how are you feeling right now on Shopify? I mean, you know, you're getting chased around the map. You're trying to farm as much as possible. You're watching these new items pop up on each hero. I mean, there's a satanic. There's an AC done on this Lycan. They are peaking right now on TSM. It, it, it's it's got to feel like an inevitability. There's there's so much that is going to be running down these lanes and just trying to end this game. Shopify, they've got to prep for it, and I, I feel like they need to catch somebody unawares. They're going to have a Scotty soon on the morph lane. But yeah, TSM, uh, they're not looking to stop anytime soon. You're still a ways away from the heart on Abed. I, I think he has to abandon those plans. Yeah. I mean, he's looking at a blink right now because they just have to find a way to create a fight that's favorable for them right now. Part of that is definitely the Scotty, which is done. Certainly a huge element of that. Uh, they also have level 12 on the Phoenix, which is a big deal, plus the Shard. So... Trying to get the best egg possible. Shout and trying to catch them before they get a roast, right? This might be the best moment they're going to get. Can they get anything, though? Jump forward. Bryo finds one. BKB out. Doesn't have an angle. Okay. KB wearing low. Abed thinking about going, not wanting to commit yet. Bad jump. Do they chase? They take down that ward. Hunting. Saber light. Still has Stampede ready. Kasane pumps it. Catches immediately. Ari throwing out the kisses. What damage do they have? The egg is already there. Tomato hits onto it. But now the Manta, the walk away. Stun is there. Can they get it in time? They do. Barely managing to bring it down. Oh. Ari connected. Says no sorry. TSM. They're tired of playing second fiddle. Trying to take the top spot here at NA as they find four. Oh, they're too strong. The auras are there. They race up the high ground into the base immediately. And just like that, trying to end this game, they want to move on in this tournament, continue on a date with Nouns in their future. If they can finish this one off, TSM on the verge as the tier four towers are going to fall. Ancient turn upon, they don't have anything. There is nothing left as Shopify are going to be eliminated. TSM, they are moving on.